Red Bull catering team trying to figure out how they can spend seven million dollars on cooking dinner. He looks so sad and it fits the caption so well. <laughs> So I'm sure you'll all agree with me. It's been a bit of a hectic time as of late in Formula One. We had Max Verstappen crowned a double F1 world champion in the most confusing manner ever. And then we had news of Red Bull breaking the cost cap with a minor breach. So I thought this is the perfect time to hop on Reddit and laugh at some F1 memes. And I'm hoping plenty of cost cap memes because at the start of the week on Monday when the news broke, Twitter was absolutely absolutely stupendous with cost cap red bull catering related memes so i'm looking forward to it but yeah before we dive into it i think the last time we did a reddit video i didn't actually notice this but we are now ranked in the top five percent of subreddits on the site and that's all thanks to you guys any of you have joined ever since it got first created not even by myself by someone else for me in 2020 of april during lockdown seems so long ago now so massive thank you to all you legends who keep on posting in here and keeping the content fresh let's see what memes we've got in store either you know irl based or gaming related let's dive into it <laughs> the red bull restaurant menu red bull restaurant itself i with that and I, I, I chuckled at myself for quite some time. It's not, it's RBR and the R doesn't stand for racing. It's restaurant. The championship menu. Let's have a look. Starters. Max for scrambled eggs with Checo Perich. <laughs> Perus Genie. Max the shrimp cocktail with a side of Hannah Schnitzel. <laughs> That's good. That's good. An assortment of Max the <laughs> Verstapp, <laughs> I can't even say it. Verstapp pastries, Verstapp pastries. Main courses: Max Verstapp Barona with Checo Berib. Max for steak with a side of crispy horner. That's good. Christian hamburger with Max fry stamp. <laughs> Desserts, chocolate Mac shake with helmet macarons, Max Droop Waffle with Chocolat, Ferris cookies. <laughs> That's good. This is outstanding. Max for Staff Pancake with crushed Christian Hazelot. This is sensational. This is like F1 Twitter merged all into one with the different food-based puns on Max Verstappen, Perez, Horner, Helmut Marco's names. Outstanding stuff. Outstanding. For the sake of copyright, I'll do the text of speech. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Nicholas Latifi has no clue. Car. That was strange. The fact that this man tried to pretend like the car had an issue and that made it veer right. No, big man, you turned right too early. And you literally, the worst part is he literally took this lap correctly beforehand. This was, I think, FP2, wasn't it? So he'd done it correctly for the whole of FP1. Visibility wasn't even that poor. There wasn't a car ahead of him to, like, kick up spray. Suzuka in a nutshell. Max getting the World Driver Championship. A Red Bull 1-2. Seb with the God Mode Recovery Drive. And then, at the bottom of it all, go Tifi getting P9 in the Williams shit box. No, you know what? We, it has to be, it has to be applauded, okay? The man, the myth, go Tifi. What a send off for him at one of the great F1 circuits. Red Bull and his budget for 2021. So that's just the cater that's just the catering budget. That actually was all going for one week's worth of lunch for the employees I'm hearing. Well, that's one way to gain some time. Right, French GP pit lane entering our pit box. And oh, oh no, oh no. Has the engine blown up? I swear that was a smoky engine, no? Okay, we're fine. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. We're fine. We, know we haven't crashed. We're all good. No damage. It's actually a pretty innovative pit stop, to be honest, from Red Bull. And the engine is blowing up. I, I was correct. But that's uh, ingenious stuff. You don't need to break the cost cap. You just need to do that. Speed discovers that I saw this on TikTok earlier in the week. And this is just so, so speed. What's that? A Lamborghini Corvette S19? Why is it? Is it confidence he says it with? What's that? A Lamborghini Corvette S19? Oh, we're going crazy up here in London, baby. 
is he, if you walk past it, you can see the Alfa Romeo sign on it. From now on, in our F1 manager career mode, it's not the Alfa Romeo career mode, career mode of. What the was that, a Lamborghini Corvette S19? Oh, Me beating my friend F122 with a 4,000 euro setup while he's using a controller. <laughs> it's such an awkward photo, man. Like, it, what, he, even he, it was probably still at this point, not convinced, fully convinced that he'd won the championship. But he's had to go along with it because everyone keeps telling him and the F1 lot are insistent. But he's like, I I don't think the points add up here. There was that clip somewhere where he literally says to Checo in the pen, like, I think I'm missing one point still. I think they've got it wrong. And then he still asks in the cool down room. And then on the podium, finally, Jensen Button goes, you're, you're world champion, double champion. He has to accept it at that point, basically. <laughs> Confirmed Vettel to replace Chris Pratt in the upcoming. Look, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Sebastian Vettel, that is a better Mario than Chris Pratt. I'm sure he could do a better voice as well. Our bit of Mark Goldridge, we love it. Live scenes of the Aston Martin team after seeing Vettel spend £145 million on bee houses rather than in the, I mean, in the, I, mean, I don't think it's his job to spend the money in the wind tunnel necessarily, but we'll, we'll go with it because Mark Goldridge, always going to be a laugh. Oh my God, there he is. Look at this twat. Look at this. Pratt. They do it on purpose. This was actually the collective thoughts of the F1 community when they saw that clip of Latifi turning right at the wrong time and blaming the car. Oh my god. There he is. Look at this twat. Look at this. Pratt. They do it on purpose. Yep, that seems about right. Yep, that, that seems about right. What is going... This side pod is inverted or like breaking apart. And what's happened here? Did the safety car take it? It surely has to be. Wow, oh wow. Something seems a bit odd. Yeah, you know what, mate? I would agree with you. Something seems massively off here and I can't quite put my finger on it. We're moving on into Formula Dank and we are checking. him he is a strategist. What a legend. The Japanese fans. I love it. I love the passion. The weird hats. It's sick. And this guy, look at him. He is ready. I'll, I'll choose him over Benotto. I would. Me creating new accounts to get one month free trials. We had it at Mercedes, then Aston Martin, then Williams, then to Alpha Tauri. And he goes on. He goes on. He's the new Hulkenberg. He's the new Hulkenberg. Or Russell, really, because Russell also had this when he started his career, just in every single team testing anything he could. Oh, this was a poignant moment. Vettel saying thank you and goodbye to the Japanese Grand Prix. Uh, at the end of qualifying, after a, super, a really, really solid qualifying. And of course, he came through for that worldly comeback as well. So what a fitting way to, to bow out of Suzuka for one final time in Formula 1 for Sebastian Vettel. It really was a cry-worthy moment. This is going to be interesting next year. In honor of Esteban Ocon and Gasly becoming teammates, let's throw it back. This is a very... I remember this happening because F1 Twitter was going nuts. The fact that they were stood next to each other, a mere... What's that? There are two people between them apart and both of them posted the same photo but cropped in different ways to crop the other person out because at the time they were so salty about each other and I think they are, probably are still in terms of his teammates I think probably the Alpine boss have just sat them down and gone right lads I know you used to be childhood mates then something happened you didn't like each other then in the later karting series through junior formula you don't like each other but now you're teammates again we're not having any of these antics again and you need to just keep it civil and respectful and that's going to last for precisely um, 10 races. The same number that Gasly has on his car. Looking real hungry for that pizza. Well, you know what? This has more meaning now, now, that, now that we know about the Red Bull catering, okay? Max, this is his face. Every day comes into Red Bull and sees what's in the, what's on the menu in the kitchen through the window. More photos why Red Bull went over the budget. Look at it. It's, it look, it, it all makes sense now. How many, you know, these? this is too coincidental. There's too many photos of Red Bull personnel enjoying their food a bit too much. I mean, how big is that plate for Verstappen? Is that, you know, he's got three plates max there. I feel like that's overcooking a little bit for three plates there. We've got, whilst they're at work in the garage, Christian Horner looks like he's trying to pretend to be Gordon Ramsay. And then, he, I mean, he, he was trying to convince Bonotto to join in. We're going to get some air upgrades for the Japanese Grand Prix, the upgrades. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you know, if there was, if it was a bit more, you know, solid, I feel it could act as a bit of a scoop for the rain and scoop out the water that's coming towards you. The leaked image of the Red Bull caterers release. <laughs> this is actually the reason why Ferrari didn't go over the budget cap and they didn't overspend on catering. They simply got the drivers to get stuck in and they fed 
the entire team. Every single round, Carlos and Charles were just get in the back of the motorhome, get on the on the, the, the mobile cooker and get cracking. I mentioned Twitter getting creative with the uh, K to Stappen names, as uh, Leia said here. And here's a lovely thread. Christian hors d'oeuvres. Christian hors hors d'oeuvres. Adrian Stewie. These are great. Is it... Get oh, that... That's pretty... Is it cake? Is it not? We don't know. You know, that's that's where the car development went. It's not car development. It was cake development. Max Caviar Stappen, Red Bull's Catering Hall. It's just... It's bloody Hogwarts. It's bloody Hogwarts. This one, it, this is outstanding. Red Bull Catering Team trying to figure out how they can spend $7 million on cooking dinner. He looks so sad and it fits the caption so well. <laughs> so Super Max was just a meal up size. <laughs> it was just Max and Al like in a fast food joint. Super Max was the meal size. RBR hiring Muslim employees next year so they will have to spend for lunches during Ramadan. <laughs> That's a quality one. How do I explain to someone who didn't open Twitter today? Max Donalds, Kate Stappen, Christian Honori, Helmut Mark and Cheese, che Chocolat Perez, Mick Checo, Christian Hors d'oeuvres, Max Vest with Cheese, Max Caviar Stappen, Max Cop Stappen, Suwagu Perez, Max for Struffles, for Pasta, Max for Soup, Max for Spaghetti Bolognese, Max Lob Stappen, Max Koliviav Stappen, Checo Perinit Viva, Meets Verstappen, Max for stop the catering. That's a good one. Checo pepperoni, Christian honey, Max for I don't. I'm not even trying to pronounce that one. Max cross Stappen, Max for strawberry shortcake, Max for stab for stab basco sauce, Max for steak, Max and cheese, Christian hamburger. The this is a wonderful list. This. This is it. This was F1 Twitter at its best. It's pretty horrendous a lot of the time, but sometimes brief glimmers of absolute joy. Where everyone comes together for one united joke. Just some cost cap fun. Red Bull be like, yeah. So the cap's right here. And uh, no, we didn't spend over on the R&D. If you just move the catering up to the top there. Yeah, we spent over on the cake. It just adds up. It all adds up. The notion that somehow if they spent on catering, that doesn't matter then. The logic for me is if they genuinely did overspend on food, on catering, if they like outsourced it and they thought, oh, it's not part of the budget because they outsourced it and it was actually part of the budget. You know, that is money that they shifted out to outsource to then uh, give room to spend elsewhere on the car, the salaries of employees. Like, you know, there's been noted that Red Bull have been giving extortionate deals to people to, to tire them. And whereas other teams have had to cut back on staff and, you know, give uh, you know, hand out redundanc redundancies, etc. So the logic of like, you know, oh, we've outsourced the catering. Uh, so it doesn't include it. But that gave you the room then to spend more money on the car elsewhere. So it all adds up. And with the FI's definition, I feel like it is correct that it would be part of that. Um, so it's just about now what we're going to see. As I said in my uh, in, in my short on my AAR second channel, it's just about what the penalties could be. You know, possibly an aero, wind tunnel sort of compromise. You know, a fine then. I don't think it'll be championship points. I don't think they'll go that far because if, if it is a minor breach of one to two million, we're hearing as a rumour, I think better a, be a better um, punishment would be going forwards because as Toto and Ferrari and you know plenty have argued, basically the advantage carried forward into this year into the next year because the car carries over. So I think a logical way would be trying to restrict some wind on time. But knowing the FIA, it'll probably just also be a fine. Uh, but at the same time, it kind of can't be just a fine because that just defeats the whole point of this entire cost cap thing. And that's where we're going to wrap it up for today then, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Get involved with the link down below for a future video. And if you're only around here, then do get subscribed for weekly full-on content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.